It is an amazing, calm, peaceful evening. I used everything that I could possibly found in that house against mosquitoes and uh, I hope it will protect me during the whole evening. So now I'm going to make a campfire. Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. Today I really tried to create a magical atmosphere for you. I hope you enjoyed. And today we are going to talk about top 5 movies that I recently watched that I will be really really recommending you. As you know I am a big fan of horrors, so today we are going to talk about horrors. There will be different kind of horrors. Uh, but majority of them will be very, very new uh, of 2022 and 2023. I hope you are not afraid of the darkness. So take a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and let's get started. I just realized that I look way better with the flashlight on. So let's continue. The first movie from my list is The Pope the Pope's Exorcist. I watched it a couple of weeks ago before my trip to Italy. I watched it in the theater, so it was... It added some atmosphere. I didn't like the movie, but it is very good to watch one time. Um, it is very, very amusement video, like you are watching a couple of screamers, cliche instruments, which are meant to scare you, uh, a lot of CGI and a classic story of exorcism. But it is very good to watch one time, as I said before. And of course, Russell Crowe was actually the best part of a movie. The next movie I already told you about, it is The Evil Dead Evil, Evil Dead Rise. Um, I also watched it in theater very late, so it, was, it added some atmosphere to it. And uh, what can I say, at this moment, I think about this movie way better than I thought about it right after theater. It is actually a really good movie. The main actress was amazing and uh, everything from how it's scripted like step by step was really, really very well made. So I highly recommend you to watch it. And uh, first time I, I told that it will not 
become iconic, probably I changed my mind. I think that with time it will become kind of iconic. The next movie is The Banshee Chapter of 2013. Um, it is probably the only old movie in my list today. Um, I discovered it for myself recently and I really, really liked it. I'm a big fan of mockumentary horrors. I love them so much. Um, and maybe one, one day I will film my own mockumentary horror, but you may not like even consider, consider my words seriously because I'm only talking about filming my own movies. But um, this one was really, really interesting. Probably I will re-watch it from time to time when I will be doing marathon of the mockumentaries I love. So highly recommend. Uh, I will. I cannot spoil you what the movie is about, but it is about. Um, in general, it's about secret conspiracy experiments in USA in 70s or something like this. Uh, so yeah. It, it will be fun to watch, I highly recommend. The next movie is The Horror in the Horror. <laughs> Horror in the High Desert 2, Minerva. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I already was talking about the first Horror in the High Desert in one of my previous top horror movies. But if you haven't seen Horror in the High Desert first one and second one Minerva, I really, really recommend you to go and watch. This is something that I really, it is so refreshing. Jesus, it feels so real, like you are watching kind of real documentary. And it is very scary, not in the, mm, comparing to the poop exorcist, it's like the bottom and the heaven. I don't know. I personally think so. Because The Horror in the High Desert is such a realistic mockumentary that it scares you with very little horror itself. But you get so much... I'm not sure that I have a good vocabulary in English for, for describing how much I feel about this movie. But it is amazing. Uh, it looks like the director and his team is creating the whole universe, which is so awesome. I am super excited to see all other parts. I really highly recommend you to watch the first one and the second one. <clears throat> Let me know if what you will think, because I feel like this, this, uh, this kind of movies is not for everyone, uh, but these ones are really one of my favorites. Like the first one made me think about it for a couple of weeks. This, I was impressed this much. After watching the second movie, uh, Horror in the High Desert Minerva, I found the director's Instagram and I reached out to him. I told him how much I love his creation. It was really awesome. And uh, he told me that they are planning to film a few more parts. So who knows, maybe I will take part in Horror in the High Desert 5th. The next one is Skinamarink. It is a movie of 2022. And uh, for this movie, I definitely don't have enough of vocabulary. This one is my favorite from this top. It is so unique. It is so unusual. It was so refreshing. Like this movie, I watched hundreds of them. Like literally, I watched hundreds of horrors. But this one was so surprising. I was watching a movie and I didn't know. I had no idea what will be next. It is so rare. Like I basically can can predict almost every horror movie. Maybe I, 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 I cannot say for sure how it will end, but 
I already know all of all of the cliches. I know all of the types of endings. I know all of the possibilities. And uh, in many cases, I'm right. Like this one was something. I, as I said, it is very unique. The closest uh, similarity it may be with um, with movie Antrum of 2018, and that's all. These two movies are a little bit similar with the... They are very different, but they are kind of similar, if this makes sense. But Skin the Ring is, is a masterpiece that must be watched. Like, I am praising it so much, and for many people it may look very boring, but it really looks... I, I was reading the reviews, and I totally agree with one of the review. Someone said that this movie looks like a dream, like a dream of a child, and it really does. Um, and uh, I really highly recommend you to watch, to give it a chance, and to find out if you are one of those people who will praise it afterwards, or you are one of the of the people who will be hating it and thinking that it is boring as hell. Okay, guys, I didn't prepare any script, so maybe I wasn't articulating very well, uh, but you can check all of the movies and choose whatever, whichever you like and give it a chance these all of these movies are not bad even the pope's exorcist you can give it a try and it will be funny if you will like it most of the all of the list uh, it will be fine it's just a preference of every person and while i am recommending you all of this i am going back to the house and watching mommy too mommy returns if you will subscribe to my OnlyFans, you will see a lot of mommy. So don't miss your chance. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening to my list. I hope you will enjoy at least one movie from it. And uh, I will see you in the next video.